Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Are you ready for action? Good evening, teacher. I'm ready. Excellent. Welcome on board. Let's begin. Buenas noches. Este es el Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo, Modalidad Online, Beginner 5. Welcome to your English class. Today is Wednesday, June the 7th, and this is class 8, Giving Instructions Practice. General objective, participants will develop competencies to describe steps and processes, okay, steps in a process to ask and answer questions in face-to-face -face and telephone conversations about maintenance procedures at work, okay. But then we have the, the specific objective, okay and the class objective. At the end of the lesson, participants will be able to talk about places in the company. Okay, let's see. This is the agenda. We're going to be working on safety. We're going to be talking about safety protocols, measures, okay, uh, regulations, etc. So, most safety, okay. Before we go to warm up, let's go to the attendance. Alejandro Enrique Gonzalez. Carlos Ernesto Sarceño. Here, teacher. Good, Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Cindy Janet Gotches. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Daniela Lisset Gutierrez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board. Daisy Tatiana Cruz. Evelyn Jamilet Molina. Present teacher. Good Excellent. evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Juliana Maria Amaya. Hazel Berenice Jimenez. Jose Miguel Blanco. Julio Aristides Paz. Present teacher. Good evening. Excellent. Good evening. Welcome on board. Carla Idari Castillo. Okay. Uh, Catherine Beatriz Urbina. Catherine Beatriz Urbina. No. No Carla Idari. No Catherine. Okay. Katy Briseida Hernandez. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Lady Maricela Linares. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Welcome on board. Liliana Laura Teresa Polio. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Maria Leticia Realejeño. Mauricio de Jesus Buruca. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Welcome on board. Thank you. Hey, now you're at home. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Miguel Angel Santos. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Omar Set Galicia. Roberto Carlos Gámez. Present teacher. Excellent. Rolando Daniel Sánchez. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Susana Andrea Urbina. Wilber Francisco Javier Martinez. Present teacher. Excellent. 
Rudy Alexander Asensio. Present teacher. Excelente. Nice. Jose Andrés Martínez. Ah, Andresito said that he's not coming today. He won't be in class. Okay. Uh, William Boris Roque. Denis Fernando Flamenco. Okay, let's begin, my dear. Let's begin. Safety. Materials. Materials and accidents. Okay. In, in the child, in your opinion, what are the most common accidents at work? Over here we have slips, burns, cuts, sprain, broken bones, dislocation, blisters, swelling, hits, falls, poisoning, broken bones, backaches, fracture, bruise, sunburns. Okay, sunburns. So let me see. Let's begin from the first one. Slips. Some people are walking down the aisle and uh, someone was cleaning the floor and the floor is very slippery. The people are walking and suddenly they fall down. They slip and fall down. That is slips. Okay, slips. So that can be an accident at work. When someone uh, is balloon. uh -huh, exactly. Someone is cleaning the places slippery, and then you're walking, sit down, and and uh, for for young people, no problem. The shock absorbers are still good. The amortiguadores, right? The shock absorbers are still good. But for older people, if they fall down, they can break an arm. They can bring, break, uh, may, I don't know, maybe a, a hip bone or something. So even they can bang their heads very hard. So that can be very dangerous. Okay. Then we have burns. Burn is when people are using hot things or fire. And then, like, for example, people who are cooking, people are cooking and they can get burned or people are ironing and they can get burned. Cuts, people who are chopping, chopping vegetables or people who are cutting material like metal and they have to handle those machines that cut metal, for example, so that can they can cut themselves. Sprains. Maybe they don't they don't set their foot properly and the ankle twists and so they cannot walk. Later they cannot walk and the foot is really swollen and it's painful. Broken bones. Maybe they break an arm, they break a leg, or if they fall down, they break the back, okay, or something like that. So broken bones. Dislocation. Dislocation is when a bone gets out of place, out of their normal place. So they have to, I mean, uh, they have to get the bone back in place. But of course, there is a, swell, a swelling because, I mean, the bone was out of place and that is a trauma, I mean, a traumatism. Okay, then we have blisters. Okay, blisters are those bags full of liquid that you have in your hands when you use, you are holding a, maybe a machete or you're holding something to cut something with. And then the friction, the friction makes your hand, let's say, have blisters. 
So blisters are bags, bags full of water that later they become callosity when they um, like they, a they break. Mm -hmm. Those are blisters. Yes. Okay. Blisters. Then swelling. Uh, I'm going to give you just this example, but not necessarily because uh, it may happen at work or it may not happen. There are a lot of bees and the bees sting you. So your face becomes like this, swollen. So that is a swelling. Okay. Or um, you are working with a machine and the machine hits you on the face and you are swollen. So swollen. Or you are standing at a machine working for many hours and your feet get swollen. So that is swelling, okay? So. Teacher, excuse yes. me, when you walk and then you, uh, uh, I don't know, they say doblar la, el pie? Yes, you sprain, you twist or sprain your ankle. Yes, it, it and, and so swollen. swelling the, mm -hmm. the feet. Yeah. Yes, 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 of course. Okay, only to clarify, swelling is in chason, swelling, but swollen is in chal, swollen, in chal. So this is the adjective, but swelling well. is in chason, swelling, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exact, inflammation, uh -huh. Sw swelling, swollen. Okay. Now, hits. Right. Hits. Maybe a machine hits you. Okay, you were using the machines. Maybe the machine is rotating and you get distracted and then boom, hits you. So that is also another falls. You are walking and you fall down. That is okay. an accident because nobody wants to fall down. Nobody wants to fall down, right? In detriment of their health. Okay, poisoning, poisoning. They eat some food, not necessarily, not, not necessarily with cyanide, no, okay, or some type of poison, but if the food was not well prepared, was not well cooked, or it was contaminated, it can cause it's some true. type of poisons, poisoning. Empacho is food poisoning. Yes. Oh, okay. Teacher. It happened when you don't identify the bottles when you uh, have chemical. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's also, a problem because uh, mm -hmm. maybe uh, exceeds chemical uh, equal to water, maybe transparent, yeah. you know. Yes. And so the people or worker take a, 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 a sip. Un trago? They take a sip. SIP. Yes. And they can sip. get they, they take a sip and they can get poison. Or some yes. people like to change the contents of bottles and they put uh, they put bleach or other type of substance in a Coca-Cola bottle. Right? And uh, Coca-Cola, people say, hey, food. And then they drink yes, from the drinking. bottle. Yes, and they can get poisoned. Okay. Broken bones. It's repeated. Broken bones is repeated. Why is it repeated? Broken uh, because, bones. Because broken it happens bones. a lot. Each are uh, broken bones is repeated three times. Yes. Fracture. Fracture is broken bones. <laughs> Only bones. Yeah, because a fracture is bones. Right, you can yeah. you don't fracture 
I mean, for example, your nose, what part of the nose fractures? The, the bridge of the nose that is made of bone, right? Okay. Or the septum. The septum is uh, made of uh, a cartilage. So maybe the septum oh. can break. So that is another fracture. Okay. So broken bones, broken bones, fracture. All right. How about backaches? Backaches. You can get a backache. Okay. How can you get a backache? Well, if you lift something heavy, you get a backache or you make a movement too fast and then you get a backache because you strain the muscle mm -hmm. or, uh -huh. okay, so you pull a muscle and then that is a really painful okay, backache. Now, Bruce, oh. I teacher, I know that one, Bruce Willis, right? Yeah. Bruce Willis, but no, in this case, Bruce is when you are fighting and don't, someone hits you in the face, you get a bruise. It becomes purple. The next day is purple. It's a bruise. The chair. Hemat yeah. Hematoma. Yeah, sometimes hematoma, sometimes a come. Okay, mm -hmm. so now teacher, I would say don't. It's true. <laughs> and then on moreton, mm -hmm. right? Morete is Bruce. Okay. Yes, Don Gilberto? No, Don Carlos le está preguntando. Okay. So, no question. No question, right? Bruce is Morete. Morete, Bruce. Uh, there is a lot of uh, motorcycle accidents uh, in my work with my co-workers and uh, uh, because don't they don't have uh, be careful maybe and they come bombs or uh, some people think maybe. they're superman uh -huh. Proctor. yeah they have a lot of fractures <laughs> yes, they maybe. think that they are superman yes. and that the chassis their body is their chassis and is protective enough and they yes, are not. Yes. No, but it's really dangerous. I mean, yes, of course. Delivery, people who work on yes. delivery, who, I mean, uh, believe me that I, I have compassion for them because uh, it's dangerous. And of course, they are under stress. All the time they are under stress because they have to be on time. They have to run and they have to make the deliveries before the time is due. If not, they have to pay or they have discounted or something. So they're under stress, so it's a job that is difficult. And the traffic is heavy. Uh, they get into trouble, a car hits them or a bus hits them and they lose their lives. So it's terrible, yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, and the last one is, Sunburn, when people uh, have a long exposition to the sun, they get sunburn. They get red, very red and uh, sensitive to the touch. So they cannot touch their skin because they are, they are hot and burned. So sunburn. Okay. So, yes, my friend. I have suffered um, a total of seven dislocation of my shoulders, three in one, a four in the other. Oh, you know. It's, you uh, yeah. It's you practice Greco-Roman wrestling, no? Greek, and the first time, and the first time I am practicing um, karate. Ah, karate, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Él se desarma. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh -huh. it's, it's ugly. Uh, yeah, that's with, terrible. Uh, see, yeah, uh, it sounds like a uh, a bones of 
chicken. Chicken bone. Uh, it's not. Uh, oh, when you move it. Like, uh -huh. so, uh, it. Uh -huh. like a block of chicken bones. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. Dislocating the shoulder. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's really painful. Yeah. yeah. He has in my to case, me. when I when I yes. when I play basketball, I dislocation my 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 uh, elbow. Uh, how do you say my your shoulder? Shoulder. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Shoulder. Yeah. Well, I in my my in my arm don't don't. <laughs> Yes, my arm don't no respondía. No. Oh, you it was limb. Your arm was limb. Yeah. Limb. Okay. Yes, limb. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, it's terrible. I tell you, I have the two shoulders. Yeah. The two shoulders, uh, they operate, they work normally, except that one doesn't Re really, really extend the full way because. I had an accident and then it was damaged. And I didn't exercise enough to recover it fully. So, but eh, I'm old. <laughs> I'm going to need it a few years more and then that's it. So when I hung, hung the tennis, okay, so hang the tennis forever. <laughs> so when I use, I will not use the shoulders anymore. Okay, let's see. Protective equipment, equipment, safety glasses, goggles, dust, dust mask, gloves, helmet, earmuffs, apron. So equipment is repeated again. So because it's the heavy. Safety shoes, boots, earplugs, face shield, mask, respirator, coveralls. Okay, hey, safety glasses. Some people put on some glasses that are transparent and they're big. Safety glasses. Some people put on goggles. The goggles are like, like blisters on your eyes, like that. They are usually for swimming or for immersion, right? Dust mask. Okay, don't, some masks protect, protect you from dust. Then gloves, gloves, you put on gloves, what? right? So helmet, helmet, so you, you get a helmet, you put it on. Earmuffs, earmuffs to protect your ears from extreme sound, from loud noises, right? Ear from machinery. From machinery. Mm -hmm. When you are cutting metal or you are doing some processes that are really noisy. Apron. Apron, uh, some people associate it when people are cooking and they put an, an apron around their, their, let's say, the front, the front of the lower part of the body, like a skirt. It looks like a skirt. They put it here. When people are cooking, right? They have an apron. Safety shoes. Some shoes that are highly protective. They protect you from electricity or they protect you from, a, let's say, impact. They protect you from some impact, like something heavy falls on the, on the top of your shoe. You are protected. So protective safety shoes. Boots, some safety shoes are boots or not complete boots, but half boots. The others are complete, complete boots, right? Bigger, I cannot make it bigger. So La maybe, media bota. Yeah, there is safety shoes. The others are boots. Earplugs, okay. what's the difference between earmuffs and earplugs? The muffs are okay. on top of your ear. The plugs are inserted in your ears, right? So that's a difference. 
face shield, something that people put here, like uh, when they are welding. Well, when they are welding, they put on the mask, welding mask. Zzz, they put the the mask, the welding. Uh, yeah, mask. And then face shield is that one. You remember the one that people wore when during the COVID, right? Yeah. Put it like here. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. So that is face shield. Respirator is something that they put here so they can breathe. Okay. In coveralls, the clothes mechanics wear, mechanics, uh, builders wear. Mm -hmm. So those are covered. So that is protective equipment. Some people have shoulder pads, shoulder pads to protect the shoulders or knee pads to protect their knees, their knees. Okay, so that is basic in some jobs. Okay, this is protective equipment. Now, we have, we have a conversation. Practice the following conversation. Are we going to repeat some? Yes, please. Excuse me, how do you say incapacidad? Oh, leave off. Uh, when, the, when the Seguro Social, they gave day off mm -hmm. for rest. They say leave off. It's like a sick note or maybe. Yes, you can have oh. like leave off means like yeah. sick. You are on sick leave. On sick leave when you are on sick on sick leave you are like you were saying what were you saying in incapacidad right on sick leave yes incapacity. Also, so when someone tells you um uh, i cannot work today why not i'm on sick leave if i work the social security is going to punish my my company. So I'm on sick leave means I have permission to rest because I am sick on sick leave. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Let's, thank you. Yeah. Let's eliminate the others. It's a, you use it in a different way. So let's put this in. Practice the following conversation. Oh, these vests, the orange vests here that say that they are the X-Men, uh, these ones are protective too. Teacher, but if you throw them something, it doesn't protect. No, it protects them so that people can see them so that the vehicles don't hit them, right? So there is a type of protection because it's prevention, prevention. So it's protection too. Let's see, where do you work, Mark? I work in construction. I work for a huge corporation from the West Coast. What's, what's safety like? It's great. You must wear a helmet and gloves. Harnesses are also obligatory. I heard that there had been some accidents there. Yeah, oh, that's a long story. I think that was about three years ago. And safety has been improved since then. I'm glad to hear it. I would hate to see my little brother injured. You know, we have taken care of you very well all these years. Don't worry, things are safe out there. I'm glad to hear it. If things were different, you'd be the first to know. That's great, little bro. Okay, again, where do you work, Mark? I work in construction. I work for a huge corporation from the West Coast. What's safety like? It's great. You must wear a helmet and gloves. Harnesses are also obligatory. I heard there, there had been some accidents there. That's a long story. And that's an old story. I think that was about three years ago. And safety has been improved uh, since then. I'm glad to hear it. I would hate to see my little brother injured. You know, we have taken care of you very well of these years. 
don't worry, things are safe out there. I'm glad to hear it. If things were different, you would be the first to know. That's great, little bro. Okay. So let me see. I'm going to change this one because it's a different thing. I'm going to close the presentation for a moment. Okay. I'm going to close it for a moment because we're going to go in a group. And um, let's see. I'm going to just make a little, a little very important correction. But say yo, it's not the same. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to open the file now with the correction. Let's see. Takes a little time. All right, here we go. Um, now, yes, it's a different one. That's an old story. That's an old story. I think that was about three years ago. It's an old story. So you make the correction in your dialogues too because that's the one that you have. Okay, so do you have any questions about the conversation? Okay. Teacher, what's me? Harnesses? Harnesses are those things that secure you. If you are working in a high place, you are like tied. You tie yourself to something so that you don't fall. You are hanging. Okay. Those are harnesses. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Harness. Harness. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. We are 28 people. Wow, that's good. Let's make four groups. The groups are opening. Perto, ¿qué tal? Hello. Hola, buenas noches. Hi, thank you. Estoy enferma, pero aquí estamos. ¿Quién puede compartir? Was a very light. It's great. You must wear a helmet safety. and gloves. Safety. What safety light? Safety light. It's great. You must wear Hello. a helmet and gloves. Arnesses are also obligatory. I heard that there had been some accident there. That's a long story. I think that was about their years ago. And safety. Years ago. Years ago. 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 Years ago. 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 Ego, 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 and safety has been improved since then. Improved uh, since then. Improved since improved, then. Improved. Improved. Then. No, since, improved. Improved. Since then. Since then. I'm glad to hear it. 
I would hate to see my little brother injured. You know, we have taken care of you very well all this year. Don't worry. Things are safe out there. I'm glad to hear it. If things were different, you'd be the first to know. The first. The, the first, 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 the first, 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 the first to know. First to know. That's great, little bro. Okay, thank you. Otra pareja, please. Okay. Me. I work. I work in construction. I work for huge corporation huge a huge i work for a huge corporation from the west coast what coast. what safer is like Why safety, it's great safety like safety like it's great you must wear a helmet and gloves Arnest are all obligation. Obligatory. Obligatory. I heard that there had been some accident there. That a long story. I think that was about three years out and safety has been improved since then improved improved since then i'm glad to hear it hear i would it. hate hear it i would hate to see my little brother injured you know we have taken taking care of you very well all this year don't worry Things are safe on three. Out there. there, out there, out there. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear. It. Glad to hear. It. Hear. It. I'm glad to hear it. Hear, hear it. Hear it. If things thing were different, you'll be the first to know. That's great, little bro. Okay. Okay, people who's missing? Uh, Daniela? Are you there? Yeah. Hello. Okay, Daniela. And what else? Uh, Kathy, maybe? Or Lady? I don't know. Mm, don't go here. Okay, uh, Lady. Okay, go ahead. Yes, it needs to say my question. Okay, good. Where do you work, Matt? Matt? I work in construction. I work for a huge corporation from huge. the West Coast. Huge, huge, huge corporation. Huge. Huge Cor corporation. Which corporation from the West Coast? What civil life? What it's safety? Safety life. Safety life? It's great. You must wear where? a helmet. Wear? Where? You must where? wear a helmet and gloves. Wear a helmet? And gloves, harnesses are also obligatory. I heard that there had been some accident there. That's a long story. I think that was about three years ago. Ago. And ago. ago. Three years ago. Ago. Mm -hmm. Ago, 
and say if it has been improved since then. Excellent. I'm glad to hear, hear it. Hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Hear it. Hear it. I could hate to head hate to see my little brother included. Injured. You. Injured. 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 You not with hard take take it. Care for you care, very well. Taken care of you very well. Care of you very well. Or there's years. these all these years. These years. Don't worry, things are safe out there. I glad to hear. I'm glad hear to it. hear it. I'm glad to hear it. it. I'm glad to hear it. I glad to hear it. Glad, 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 glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Glad, no, glad. With a G, L, L, glad. Glad. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I think we're different. You'd be the first to know. If That's things, good. If things were different. If things were different, you'd yeah. be the first to know. Yeah. Things, yeah. things. Things. Thanks. If Thanks. things were different, you'd be the first to know. If things were different, you'd be the first to know. Excellent. Excellent. That's great. Dear bro. Little bro. Little bro. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Who is missing, people? ¿Quién falta? Terminamos. Alejandro. Hello. Hi. Finished. Uh, Continue. La conexión al compañero. Teacher, hello. No se le escucha. El micrófono apagado. Only, you are only nine, that's why. I'm waiting for the other. <laughs> only nine people. Ten, twelve. Third, Fourteen people. All right, enough. Let's see. Safety protocols. The purpose is to discuss safety measures. Discuss the following questions. Okay, let's do this one as a group. What are some elements that bring us security at work? I'm going to change the question. What are some things that we put on that protect us at work? What are some things that we wear to protect us at work? Do you remember? A mask. A mask? 
protects the face, uh, the eyes, the mouth. Helmet. The nose. A helmet eyebrow. protects the harness. head. Harnesses Arbol. protect the whole body. Uh -huh. Harness. What else? Safety boots. Safety boots protect us from shocks and blows, from, blows from with difficult, I mean, heavy objects. Uh huh. What else? Apron. An apron, apron, right? Protects us from spills. If we are cooking a hot oil, boom, falls on the on the on the apron, not on our skin. So protection. Apron protect to spark. Uh, yeah, uh, fire. Sometimes spark yeah. or, or yes, chispas. Yes, from the sparks. But okay. but some aprons are very synthetic. If there is a spike, no. a spark, they catch fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. Mostly from spills. Like if you are cooking and there are some spills, oh. they protect your clothing. But okay. really yes. protection, not so much. What other things protect okay. us? Safety, safe, safety glasses. Safety glasses. Safety glasses. Mm -hmm. What else? Safety shoes. Safety shoes. Masks. Boots, ear plugs, boots, ear plugs, ear muffs, ear plugs, yeah, ear muffs, mm -hmm. flow defense, chalic. <laughs> Sorry, what? Como se dice chaleco? <laughs> ah, chaleco, <laughs> chalic. That's very interesting. Okay. Helmet, <laughs> <laughs> chalic. Helmet. A type of vest, protective vest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's maybe just... maybe fluorescent vest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Terminator. True. Terminator? Sorry? Respirator. Ah, the respirator. I heard you said Terminator. Yeah, Terminator only protected John yes. Connor. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> I say Terminator only protected John Connor. <laughs> no, that's okay. So, respirator. Mm -hmm. All right. What are some regulations focused on security for all workers? Teacher, what are regulations? Measurements, rules, La mm -hmm. laws, laws, helmets. Helmet is Cast an object. No, what are rules that protect us? Don't uh, don't run in the uh, office. Don't run oh, in the, the office. Uh -huh. Don't run in the office. What else? Uh, like a punto de reunión. I don't know. When yeah. the concentric point. Yes. Go go to a concentric point. or a meeting point. Go to yes, a meeting, yes. a meeting point what? in case of an earthquake. Er earthquake, yes. Earthquake, course. or in case of a fire, but it's yes. a different meeting point for a fire. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. What are emergency the... emergency exit? Emergency exit, following the emergency exit. Yes. Uh -huh. Following the safety protocols. Yes. What are other regulations? Use protective equipment. Wear protective, wear protective equipment. Yes. <laughs> wear protective equipment. Uh -huh. What else? Concentrate on your work. If you're working, don't talk. Or don't use a cell phone while you're working. Fingers are more important than the cell phone. Some people don't lose take... a finger because they are checking the cell phone and the machine bah, severs the finger. Don't, don't take picture. Don't take picture of the processes, right? You lose. Yes. Then the cell phone will finish inside the, the machine. <laughs> yes. Yeah? 
And no Don't. problem, the cell phone, you will ruin the machine. Okay, yes. you will be in trouble. Okay, don't so pass, don't pass the chair to areas dangerous. Don't, For example, don't enter, don't enter areas that are dangerous. Mm -hmm. Dangerous, okay. Uh -huh. Put on a helmet if you enter dangerous areas. Always use um, elements of security at work. Yes, always wear protective clothing at work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are some protocols. Evacuate, evacuate in case of an emergency. Leave whatever you're doing and run out the door, right? So those Teacher, are- uh, yes. evac Evacuate. Evacuation map. Uh -huh. Follow the evacuation map. You have to evacuate. Yes. Evacuate. Yes. You are in this point and evacuate. you are uh, following the rope of the signs too. Sorry, Hazel. Follow the safety signs. Yes, follow the signs. Uh -huh. Follow the safety signs. Yeah. Okay. Follow the protocols, safety protocols. Yes. Okay. Why is the security of workers different zones of repeat please? Excuse me. Uh different different sounds of alert. Uh-huh. What about them? Al uh, alarmas? Uh yes. one so for fire, the other one is for the um I don't know. Airquake, maybe. But normally for an earthquake, you don't need an alarm <laughs> because the earthquake is the alarm. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, yeah, only when it's a drill. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, when it's a drill, yes. <laughs> drill is simulacrum. Okay. When it's a drill, yeah, you oh. have different, uh, let's say, different alarms. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. What about the next one? We have okay, thinking. What? Yeah. No problem. What happens when there are accidents? Because um, about the personnel. Uh huh. What hap What happens when there are accidents? Okay. If there is an accident, what do people do? Activate First. all the protocols. Okay, yeah. they, they follow the protocol. Following the protocol. And what are the protocols? Yes. What what are the, pro the protocols the, the, if there is an accident? The, the fear primero uh, auxiliary. Okay. First to help to other help, person. Try to help. But it depends on the injury. Sometimes you can touch, sometimes you cannot touch the patient. I mean, I would say patient in this case. This is the thing. So call call the supervisor. Yeah. And call an ambulance. Right? Call an ambulance. If there is a doctor, is an on-site doctor, okay, call the doctor. But if there isn't an on-site doctor, on-site doctors are the ones that are in a, let's say company clinics, right? On site doctors, on site doctors. The, the, the on site doctors they are permanently be. in the company. Okay, so when you need yes. them, you call them in case of an emergency. They are experts on occupational accidents. So, okay, what else happens when there are accidents? You call the supervisor, you call an ambulance, or you call the on-site doctors, and you stay, stay with the patient. The, stay, stay with your cover. The brigade is activated. Brigades are activated. 
in case there is an, uh -huh, an accident. Yes. yes. But sometimes the brigades cannot do much. It's better if you call an ambulance, if there is a serious accident. Because br brigades um, that people make at the companies don't have experience. And the, the mm, people that yes. deal with emergencies, that's their job. Uh -huh. Okay, have you ever had an accident at work? Yes. 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 What happened? What happened over to you? In my company, in my company teacher, the the mechanic had an accident. I remember uh, he he was repaired the conveyor and suddenly suddenly it was the blade, yeah suddenly the blade of the conveyor caught her her fingers. His fingers cut yeah cut his fingers. Yeah cut the oh, fingers. Oh yeah. And I remember uh, the other co-worker, uh, auxiliary to him, uh, called the supervisor, called the nurse, and and then called the ambulance and, and carry on the hospital. Yeah. It's terrible when someone it's, uses- It's terrible. Yeah, fingers. it's terrible. Yes. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's continue, my friends. We have another diet. Practice the following conversation. Bill, come here at once. What's the matter? Why is all this shouting? It's Mike. He has had an accident. Come quickly. Okay, let's go there. What exactly happened? See for yourself. Oh no, Mike, are you all right? I think he's unconscious. That machine gave him a terrible blow. He took it right on his face. Call an ambulance. I'll stay with him right away. Hello, we have an emergency. It's one of our workers. He's unconscious. No, of course he isn't dead. He's out, but he'll be okay. What did they say? They'll send a team right away. Go get them. I'll stay with Mike. I will. Okay, again, Bill, come here at once. What's the matter? Why is he still, I mean, why is all this shouting? It's Mike. He has had an accident. Come quickly. Okay, let's go there. What exactly happened? See for yourself. Oh no, Mike, are you all right? I think he's unconscious. That machine gave him a terrible blow. He took it right on his face. Call an ambulance. I'll stay with him right away. Hello? We have an emergency. It's one of our workers. He's unconscious. No, of course he isn't there. He's out, but he'll be okay. What did they say? They'll send a team right away. Go get them. I'll stay with mine. I will. Okay. Unconscious. Unconscious. Machine. Unconscious. Accident. Accident. Happened. Exactly. Exactly. Quickly. What's the matter? What's the matter? Why is all this shouting? Let's go there. A terrible blow. Ambulance. Ambulance. Right away. Right away. Okay. So, questions about the, the conversation? Teacher, what's mean terri terrible blow? A terrible blow. Terrible oh. blow. They hit him. The machine hit him on the face. That is a terrible blow. Okay. When you are fighting, they give you terrible blows, right? Blows. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, let, then let's go and practice. Let's go and practice. The groups are open, please join. Uh. <laughs> Alejandro, Denis, Carlos Ernesto Saz. Okay. Denis, Alejandro. Okay. Please join your groups. Okay. Soy yo. ¿Qué quién quiere ser usted, Tom? Como usted quiera. Tom o Bill. Dele, usted empiece. Bill, come here at, at once. What's the matter? Why is all this shooting? Shouting? It's a my. And he has had an accident. Come quickly. Okay, let's go there. What exactly happened? See for yourself. Oh no, Mike, are you right? I think. He's inconscious. The matching giving him inconscious. The matching giving him current that, blow. That machine. That machine. That machine gave, gave him a terrible, terrible blow. He took a right. He took on it his face. right on his face. He took it right on his face. Call on ambulance. Okay. Yes, compañera, continue. Call an ambulance. I'll stay with him. Right away. Hello. We have an emergency. It is emergency. What? Emergency. 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 It is one of our work, worker. workers. Workers. He's unconscious. Unconscious. No, Inconscious, no Un unconscious, 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 no conscious. He is indeed dead. He's dead. 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 Is is dead. Is out about the egg. Be okay. He'll be okay. What did this? What did they say? They were saying, "I'm being right away." Go get them. I'll stay with Mike. I will. Si quiere, cambiamos de una vez. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you right? I think he's unconscious. That machine gave him a terrible blow. He took it right on his face. Call an ambulance. I will stay with him. Right away. Hello. We have an emergency. It's one of our workers. He's unconscious. No, of course. He isn't dead. He's out, but he'll be okay. He'll be okay. What they say? They'll send a thing right away. Look at them. I stay with my. I will. Okay, can mass. Uh, Juliana. Juliana, yo. Okay. Uh, I will be Tom and um, Kathy, you are Bill. Are you ready? 
Yes. Okay, Bill, come here at once. What the mother, mother, with is all this shooting? Shouting. It's my. Shouting. He has had an accident. Come quickly. Okay, let's go there. What exactly happening? See for yourself. Oh no, Mike, are you all right? I think he's unconscious. That machine gave him a. It's a right on his face. Call an ambulance. Ambulance, call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. I'll stay with him. him. I'll stay, stay, I'll stay. Stay with him. I'll stay I'll with him. I'll stay with. Right. Mm -hmm. I why hello to we had an emergent eat one of our co-workers is unconscious 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 not of course he isn't they he is ours but he he'll be on okay what did they say He has had an accident. Con quickly. Okay, let's go there. What exactly happened? See for yourself. Oh no, Mike. Are you alright? I think he's unconscious. That machine gave him a terrible blow. He too it right when his face. Call an ambulance. I'll stay with him. Raya, right well, hello. We had a emer emergency. Emergency. It's, we have have we have, have an emergency. We had a emergency. Had, had is past tense. Present. Have. Uh, we have. That's it. An emergency. Emergencies. Emergencies. Is one of our workers. He's unconscious. No, of course. He is in this. He's mm -hmm. off, but he'll be okay. He'll be okay. He's out, but he'll be okay. Be okay. What did I say? They saying a thing right away. Go get them. I stay with Mike. I will. Okay. Yo. Okay. Con quién? Si quiere la acompaño yo, porque no sé si otro compañero va a participar. Aquí estoy yo, falto yo. Ok. Pueden okay. continuar las dos. Ok, si quieren empiezo yo. Ok. Bill, come here at once. What the matter? Why is all the shouting? It's my... He has an accident. Come quickly. Okay, let's go there. What exactly happened? See for yourself. Oh no, Mike, are you all right? I think he is unconscious. That machine gave him a terrible thought. He thought it right on this base. Call an ambulance. I'll stay with him. Right away. Hello. We have an emergency. It's one of our workers. He inconscious. No of course. Unconscious. He's unconscious. No of no of course. He is dead. 
He's out. He is out. He isn't dead. He isn't dead. He's out. Be he'll be okay. But but he'll be okay. He's out. Be he'll be but, okay. But but he's out. But, but he'll be okay. He's out. But he'll be okay. Excellent. Thank you. What did they say? They said I'll be in right away. Go get them. I'll stay with Mike. I will. Okay. Pueden cambiar de una sola vez, compañeras. Okay. Okay. Bill, come here at once. What the matter? Why is all this con shouting? It's Mike. He has had an accident. Come quickly. Okay, let's go there. What exactly happened? See for yourself. Oh no, my. Are you all right? I think he is unconscious. Unconscious. That. Como? Unconscious. Uh -huh. I'm conscious. Unconscious. 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 That machine gave him a terrible blow. He took uh, it right on his face. So. Call an ambulance. <clears throat> I, I stay with him. <clears throat> right away. Hello? We have an emergency. It one of our workers. He is unconscious? No, of, of course. He isn't dead. He's out, but he'll be okay. What did, what did they say? They'll send a team right away. Go get them. I stay with my. I will. Thank you. Thank you, Señor. Nice. Nine people out. Okay, enough, everybody's out. Let's see, who's injured? Mike. Mike is injured. Mm -hmm. What happened to him? Mike is injured. The machine gave um, a blow. The, the machine, a machine a gave him blow. a terrible blow. Uh -huh. In his face. Yeah, on his face. Will he be okay? Yeah. Yes. He is and dead. He is just unconscious. He is just unconscious. He is and dead. Who's staying with him? Mike. Who's Mark. staying? Who's staying Mark. with Mike? Tom. Tom. No. Bill. 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 Bill is staying with him. Not... Uh, Bill. What's Tom? What's Tom going to do? Calling oh, the ambulance. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. Uh, exactly. Call an ambulance. It's going to call an ambulance. Exactly. Excellent. Very good. Now let's continue. Safety measures. Now this one, we're going to discuss it in the groups too. Okay. And when you finish. Sorry. Supervisor. Uh, yeah, you're going to discuss the questions in the groups. Uh -huh. 
and there's going to be one supervisor in each group. No, I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> no. We're going to say Carlitos, Robertino, and, and Julito are going to be the supervisors in the group. No. All right, let's see. We have a conversation <laughs> after this. We have the questions. Who's responsible for the safety of workers in your company? Two, is safety always implemented at work? Three, how do you contribute to safety? Four, are there accidents at your job? Five, are people dissatisfied with safety protocols? Six, how do they socialize the safety protocols? Okay, hello. You say, teacher, I don't understand the last question. When you say socialize, how do they socialize the safety protocols? Means how do they make the safety protocols uh, known to the people? How do they make them public? How, how do they communicate the safety protocols for everybody to know? That is socialize the safety protocols. Okay, so we have these questions. Then we have the conversation. Okay, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce you to the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Ruth Higgins, and I will be providing some safety regulations today. Yeah, please do, Ruth. Number one, wear a helmet all the time. Number two, walk between the yellow lines. Number three, don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. Four, it is important not to get close to red areas. Will we get those rules in writing? The regulations, they are posted on every wall. And when in doubt, call me, I'll be around. Don't worry, we will. Great, I guess that will be all for today. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce you to the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Ruth Higgins, and I will be providing some safety regulations today. Yeah, please do, Ruth. Number one, wear a helmet all the time. Two, walk between the yellow lines. Three, don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. Four, it is important not to get close to the red areas. Uh, will we get those rules in writing? The regulations, they are posted on, the, on every wall. And when in doubt, call me, I'll be around. Doubt, doubt. When in doubt, call me, I'll be around. Call me, I'll be around. They sound like a song. Don't worry. We will. Great. I guess that we will be, I'm sorry, I guess that will be all for today. Regulations, safety regulations, providing everybody, everybody, introduce, introduce, pleasure, pleasure. It's a pleasure to introduce you to the new floor safety engineer, engineer. Everybody providing safety regulations. Wear, wear, wear a helmet. Walk, walk, walk between. Don't forget, don't forget, wear earplugs. Important, important. Get close to red areas. In writing, rules, those rules in writing, regulations posted on every wall. When in doubt, when in doubt, I'll be around. Don't worry, we will. Great, I guess that, that will be all for today. I guess that will be all for today. Do you have questions? Not to share. No. All right, let's go and practice. No question. 
answer the questions, and then practice the dialogue. Okay, let's do it. The groups are opening, please join. Okay, Wilbur, Carla Idari, Dennis, please join. You are in your respective groups. Ajá, pero las preguntas estaban antes, ¿verdad? No, es que esta es otra conversación. Yes, first the questions. First the questions, Ajá. then... Ya, yeah, dos al de cuello. Primero, primero las preguntas. Estas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, veamos. Who's the responsible for the safety of workers? Cada quien es responsable. Sí, es bastante seguro el, el trabajo. No hay un riesgo así como de... Everyone is responsible, but something there is a thing that the worker is uh, is is decent now the song safari safari safety uh, so the supervisor or boss is responsible of of safety. Safety. Then, uh -huh, safety. Okay. Then, safety. Their safety. Or oh, remember, remember him. Okay. okay. Other opinion it's about my, question. My opinion. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Other opinion, partners. Question number one. Or we pass to number two. Okay, number two. Is safety always implemented at war? Is safety always implemented at war? Sometimes. Okay. In my company, the safety is imp implemented Is implemented every day because we have we have a uh, a supervisor of of safety and we have a boss for safety. However, every every worker worker is responsible for for your safety. Okay. But sometimes, but sometimes there is a worker that don't like the safari or protocol or protocols. The safari? <laughs> it's not agree. Yeah, it's not. Uh, there is, there, uh, there are in, in following the safari. Safety. Uh, don't like, don't Safety. like. Safety. Safety. Um, they, they don't like it, don't like it. Then. It's true. Okay. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Okay, question number three. How do you contribute to safety? How do you contribute? How do you say contri 
con remember in, your, in my opinion remember remember then okay Re remembering the mission the rules right? the remembering the, the rules uh -huh. okay yes okay okay uh, how do you say contribute to safety uh, in my opinion uh, everyone is responsible for your for your safety but, but the people don't like don't like keep the rules or recommendation uh, but it's very important contribute to safety. Uh, for example, I work yeah. at I work at warehouse and we always use um, a, equipment for, for for safety. For example, I I wear helmet, I will I will boot for security for safety and and I, I don't remember, teacher, how do you say chaleco reflectivo? El micrófono, teacher. Micrófono uh, apagado. Yeah, vest. That would be like a protective vest. Vest. So you say, ah, uh, vest. Maybe vest. a yellow vest, an orange vest. Yellow, yellow vest, okay. Mm -hmm. And greens. Or, or green. Or greens. Yeah, a green vest or a yellow vest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other opinion about question number? The, the regulation, they are post. They are posted on every wall, and the one in the boat, the boat call me. I am being when in doubt. Well, in doubt. When in doubt. When in doubt, call me. Call, call. call me. Call me. I am and be around. Don't worry, we will. Great. I guess, was, I guess, I guess that will be all for today. Will be all for today. I guess that will, will be all for today. I guess okay. That. okay. Thank you. Who is missing? Who is missing? Lady, are you there? Hello, hello. Did you discuss Lady? the question? Daniela? Mm, no, yet. Okay. Daniela? Daniela? Thank you okay, who, 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 okay, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce you to his new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Ruth here. Everybody. Uh, Walk between the yellow lines. Number three, don't forget to wear the air gloves all the time. Number four, it is important not to not to get close to weird areas. Will we get those rules in writing? The regulations they are posted on every wall, and when it does, call me. I'll be around. Around. Don't worry, we will. Great, I guess that will be all for today. Okay, thank you. Okay, finished, teacher. Did you discuss the questions? Uh, okay. No, uh, yet. Move Rolando. The question. This is okay. Who's responsible for the safety of worker in your company? In 
in your company, no in company of the dialogue? No, in your company. These questions okay. are not related to the dialogue. Yeah, these are before the dialogue. Okay. In my company, uh, I am I am responsible for the safety of worker in my company. So they are in good hands. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Mauricio. Hey, uh, how do you say and uh, the company uh, and the uh, security industrial? Industrial security or industrial safety? Okay. Industrial okay, thank you. safety. Uh -huh. Industrial safety. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we will. Great, I guess that will be all for today. Okay, good morning, everyone. It's, it's a pleasure to introduce you. No, ahora le toca a usted, ¿verdad? Ajá, hoy cambiamos. Bueno, comienzo yo. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce you to the new floor safety engineers. Hello, everybody. I am Rook Iggy. I will be providing some safety regulation today. Yeah, please do, Ruth. Uh, one, we are Elmet all. The today. Yeah, please, please do Ruth. Number one, wear a helmet all the time. Number two, walk between the yellow lines. Number three, don't forget to wear the air pools all the time. Number four, it is important not to get close to real areas. 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 Will we get those rules in writing? The regulations, they are posted, posted on every wall. And when, a, when in... When in doubt? The, when in doubt, call me, he'll be around. I'll be around. I'll be I'll around. be around. Don't worry, we will. Great. I guess that will be all for today. Okay. Okay, Juliana, is your turn. Con quién? With Tatiana. Kat. Yes. Kat. Okay. Mm, okay. Is safe implement at work? Safety. 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 Is safety always implement 
at work. Implemented at work. Implemented at work. Uh, yes, in, in my company, implementing the security and work. Okay. okay. Yes, in my case too, um, they are very uh, rigorous with the safety and in in any case, uh, sanctioning a a worker because don't uh, use the safety. How do you say san sanction, teacher? Sanction. 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 Yes, sanction. sanction. Yes, sanction. Okay, thank you. Anybody else with number two? Oh, okay. There are 14 people out. Okay, everybody's out. Who's Ray introducing? Who's Ray introducing? According to the dialogue. According to the dialogue, who is Ray introducing? The new floor safety. Mm -hmm. The new floor safety engineer, right? Engineer. engineer. Mm -hmm. She is okay. Ruth. What's her name? Ruth. Ruth Higgins. Ruth Higgins. Ruth Higgins. Okay, her name is Ruth Higgins. Excellent. What safety measures that she mentioned? Four measures. Wear helmet all the time. Wear a helmet all the time. What Walk else? between the yellow line. Walk between the yellow lines. What else? Don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. Ah, don't forget to wear the earplugs. Earplugs ear all the, the time. The earplugs all the time. Okay. What else? Keep the distance from the red lines. Uh -huh. Keep your distance from the red lines. Okay. Excellent. Very good. How will she socialize the rules? They are posted on every wall. They are posted on every wall. Excellent. They are posted on every wall. Do the workers agree on the implementation of rules? Do the workers agree on the implementation of rules? Mm. Yeah. Even Maybe. if yeah, mm -hmm. even if they don't agree, they have to agree. So, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Why are rules implemented? For safety of the, the worker? Yeah, for their protection. For their protection. For their protection, yes. Yes. What's the lady's, what's the lady's attitude? 
to what? protect her worker. What's a lady's attitude? Is possible. She's positive, right? She's helpful because she says, when in doubt, call me. I'll mm, be around. Okay. okay. Friendly. Excellent. She's friendly. Very good. Now let's continue. We have identified the areas in the Rex Corporation. Production area. Where is the production area? Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Right? A and C. This is the production area. It's the biggest A. production area. The reception area. Letter B. Letter B. Letter this B. is the prim principal entrance. A. Main entrance to the building. Right? Main entrance to the building. There is another entrance here. But this is the principal entrance. Oh. Okay. Okay. So this is reception. Okay. Planning area. Let's see. Planning area is this one, right? Okay. Manager's office. D. D. This one. Letter D. The big office is the manager's. Okay. Oh, Auditors. Audit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Auditors office. Letter E. Letter E. Auditor surface is this one. It has to be. Sorry. It has to be. This one is possessive. Auditor's office, manager's office. Okay. Mm. So, auditor's quality control. And quality F. control. F. Quality F. control F. is F. Okay. Restrooms. G. 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 These are the restrooms. Exit. H. A little H. Next to quality control. Yes, next to quality control. This F, 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 they're control. all quality control. This is exit. Parking. I. I. All of this is the park. I. 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 Yes. <laughs> and this one, what's this? Door. What's this? Decoration. The yeah, decoration. The garden. The garden, maybe. The yeah. garden. Maybe the decoration. All right. All right. Excellent. Very good. Let's continue. And Let's continue. And the bathroom. Now, sorry. And the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom. Ah, uh, the, the there, restroom. There is, there is no. <laughs> no, the, the, the restrooms <laughs> there, here. Restroom. There is bed. No, bed. Ah, bedroom. Uh, no, no, bed. bedrooms. No, this <laughs> one doesn't is... have lounges. <laughs> Aguanta todo el día. Oh. <laughs> it's VIP area for rest. <laughs> okay. VIP yes. area. Okay, lounges. Okay. You are at the parking area and you wonder. Where are the restrooms? Where are the restrooms? And you say, oh, they are next to the manager's office, right? They are next to the manager's office. But you say, where is the manager's office? It's next to the uh, auditor's office, okay? Which is no help. Where is quality control? 
it is in front of F. planning area. In front of planning area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where is the exit? Is ne next, next, next to quality control. control. Next to quality, quality control. Where's my office? Where's is my office? The queen of the auditorium office. In next to the auditor first, office. First, first. Next to manager office. Okay, where's my office? Yeah, e. this is my oh, office. Okay. Image. <laughs> That's my office. Oh yeah, very good. Oh. How nice. All right. Give instructions. To give instructions, you say, go straight, go straight. Turn, turn left, turn right, right? Turn right, turn left. Okay. Go, walk. go straight ahead. Yes, go. Walk. 10 meters, walk 10 meters, walk through the production okay. area, walk through the production area. Where's the manager's office? Go through reception, walk through the production area. It's next to the auditor's office. Okay. Study this example. Asking, asking about direction. Can you give me directions to the nearest hospital? Go straight ahead for two blocks. It's on the next corner. How do you get to the bus stop? Go straight ahead and turn left. It's around the corner. Where's the carnival? It's at the stadium. Go straight ahead for four blocks. Where can I find the nearest car park? Sorry, I don't know. I'm not from around here. How do I get to the library? Go up the stairs and turn right. It's down the hall. Six, is there a pet shop near here? Yes, there's one on Second Avenue. It's next to the bank. Where's the nearest post office? There's one in the shopping mall. It's across from the boutique. Eight, do you know where the shopping center is? Yes, I do. It's across from the bank on Second Avenue. Nine, is there a sports shop around here? Mm, I don't think so. You have to go downtown to find one. 10. Can you tell me how to get to the train station from here? Sorry, but there aren't trains, there aren't trains here, or there aren't any trains in here. Take the bus. Can you tell me how to get to the train station from here? Sorry, but there aren't any trains in here. Take the bus. The bus? No. Hey. Now, look at the plan and answer. That's what we did. This we already did. How can I get to the auditor's office? And we say walk through production. How can I get to quality control department? Okay, go through production again. How can I get to the planning area? go through production again, because all of them go through production. Okay, this is the entrance, this is production. So you go through production to the manager's office, go through production to the auditor's office, go through production to, to the planning area, go through production to this one, so. Mm -hmm through all of them, okay. 
how can I get to the planning area? Go through production. Okay, it's on the left. How can I get to the restroom? Uh -huh. How can I get to the restroom? Enter reception. Mm -hmm. And then? Hey, wait, wait. To uh -huh. right. Turn right. Turn right. Go through production. For 10 meters. Maybe 10 meters. It's the, the restrooms are next to the manager's office. Restroom. Okay. How many areas are there in the Rex facilities? How many areas? Nine area. We have one, two, three. Nine. nine areas. Nine areas, fine. Nine areas. Yes, nine areas. Okay. Is there a financial office in these facilities? Is there a financial office? No. There's no, there's no financial. No, office. there isn't. Right? There isn't. No, there isn't. There isn't. No, there there isn't. isn't. Okay. How many quality control offices are there? The quality control office. There are three offices. How many? There are three. Three, three right? And there are three. Three offices. One, two, three. Oh. Okay, is there an auditor office? An yes. auditor's, is there yes. an auditor's office? There is there one is. office. Yes, there is. Yes, there is, right? It's yes, next to is. the manager's Yes. Okay. Now let's continue. Do you know the safety protocols at work? Do you remember the protocol, the safety protocols at work? Yes. Yes, right. Yes, I know. You have to know them. Mm -hmm. Can you list some? Wear a helmet all the time. Wear a helmet all the time. What else? Take it easy. Walk slowly. Or be quiet. And be quiet, be careful. What else? Listen to instruction for manager. Listen to the manager's instructions. Mm -hmm. okay. Keep calm. Keep calm. Yes. Okay, excellent. Have you ever seen them in action? Have you ever seen the protocols, the safety protocols in action? Yes, I I ever seen the protocol in action when when there is a eva, evacuation. Evacuation. You have seen them in action when there is eva an evacuation. Yeah, excellent. How often do you have emergency drills at work? An emergency drill is a simulacrum, right? An emergency yeah. drill. How often do you have one? One time per uh, year. Maybe once, once a year. Okay. It's once, three times a week. Three times uh, a year. A year. Three times a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Why is it important to have safety protocols? For myself, myself safety. Yeah, for your safety, for your protection. For safe life. 
Yeah, to save your life. Okay, these are some of the safety instructions. Wear a helmet all the time. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. Don't touch any machine. Don't touch any machine. Wear the earplugs all the time. Wear industrial boots. Don't get close to the red area. Don't get close to the red area. These are safety instructions. In case of fire, what do we have to do in case of fire? Who wants to read the in case of fire instructions? Volunteer to read them. Okay, the first seven. Me, teacher. Let's say we're, go we're going to divide. We're going to divide them into seven and other seven. So we have one, two. Okay, who wants to read? One. Me, teacher. Yes. Yep. Me, okay. number two. Excellent. Okay. In, in, caps, in case of fire, number one, locate an evacuation route. Evacuation route. Evacuation um, route. Evacuation number two. Route. Number two, stay called. Mm -hmm. Number three, call the fire department. Yes. Number four, don't use the elevator. Number five, don't get back if you forgot a personal object. Number six, use a fire extinguisher. Number seven, follow instruction <clears throat> from the rescue team. Excellent. Okay, number eight, fire extinguisher. Uh -huh. Don't get close to the fire. Nine, go to the meeting point. Ten, Lock the doors. Lock the doors. Mm -hmm. 11. Stay away from glass windows. 12. If possible, wear a mask. Wear a mask. Mm -hmm. 13. Stay close to the ground. 14. Stay away from electrical wires. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Who would like to read number one again? Me, me teacher. Okay, Julito. Oh, go okay, ahead. go ahead. Me. Okay, Mauricio, number one. Julito, number two. Okay, go ahead. Okay. In, ca in case of fire, uh, number one, locate an evacuation road. Number two, stay calm. Number three, call the fire department. Number four, don't use the elevator. Number five, don't get back if you forgot a personal object. Number six, use a fire extinguisher. Number seven, follow the instructions for the rescue team. From the rescue team. Okay, excellent. Number, uh, number eight, don't get close to the fire. And number nine, go to the meeting point. Number 10, lock the doors. Day 11, stay away from glass windows. 12, is possible wear a mask. Uh, seriously, stay 13. close to the ground. E40, 14. Uh, stay away from electrical wires. Okay, excellent. Stay away from electrical wires. Electric okay. wires. Electric Perfect. Thank wires. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Now let's see. Think about this. Give instructions on what to do in case of a fire. What do we have to do in case of a fire? Located evacuation route. Locate the evacuation route. What else? Don't use elevator. Don't use an elevator. Uh -huh. 
Stay calm, very important. Stay calm. Mm -hmm. Call the fire okay. department. Mm -hmm. Call the fire department. Use the fire extinguisher. Use the fire extinguisher. Uh -huh. Stay uh, near at the floor. Uh -huh. Stay near the floor. Mm -hmm. do, not, do not use the elevator. Don't use the elevator. What else? Stay away from electrical wires. Stay away from electrical wires. Excellent. In case of an earthquake, what do you think a person should do in case of an earthquake? Stay calm. Stay, Stay calm. calm. Yes. Don't run. Don't what else? run. Protect your head for objects. From falling objects. Protect your head from falling objects. Stay under the desk. Get Maybe. under a desk Sorry. or table or on the um, door on the doorway. Okay, because the doorway usually has a, a special frame, right? Columns and stuff. Okay, excellent. In case of an inundation, there is an inundation. What should you do in case of an inundation? A uh, piece of uh, floating material. Okay, take some floating material. Okay, excellent. What else? Call Get the away protection from civil. Call uh, evacuate. protection civil. Okay, evacuate. 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 Up. Evacuate. What else? Look for high places. <clears throat> Look for elevations, yes. right? Look for uh, elevations. Yes, yes. So that you are in peace. What else? Looking for a lunch. Uh, of looking course. for a boat. Look for a looking, boat. Looking for a boat. Look for a boat. Okay. So, mm -hmm. very good. Yes. What about a radiation leak? Black. What should we do in case of a radiation leak? Get away from What's... dangerous area. Put on a protective suit quickly. Put on a protective suit. What? And then. Teacher, what's mean? Leak. Leak uh, is when a reactor or any radiation is coming out, contaminating the area. Okay. Or an atomic. Bomb. Okay. Maybe Thank you. nuclear, a nuclear reactor or something like that. Yeah. Okay, what else? Uh, like, so if there is a re 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 radiation leak, what should we do? Put on a protective suit. Uh -huh. And then- Use the, the special mask. Wear a special mask. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, Eva don't evacuate the area. Yes, Don Gilberto? Yes. Okay. What should we do in case of an accident? Call ambulance. Call an ambulance, yeah. Call we the police. Call the police. Call an ambulance, call a police. What else? Protect the person, okay? Protect the person. How do you Post say, island. teacher, primero auxilios? First aid, first, first aid. aid, okay. Eight. Try to but, give the person first aid. If you know, if you don't yeah. know, don't do yeah. it. If you don't know, you can kill the person. Don't move the person. So don't move the person. Don't move, it's, it's Call, dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. Call the people who are experts, okay? Call the people who are experts in case, okay. Excellent, very good. Now, my dear ones, let's go to attendance. Let's go to attendance. Alejandro Enrique Gonzalez. Present teacher. Excellent, good night. Carlos Ernesto Sarcen. Here teacher, good night. Good night, excellent. 
Cindy Janet Goches. Present teacher, good night. Very good. Daniela Lisette Gutierrez. Daisy Tatiana Cruz. Daisy Tatiana, Tati. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. Evelyn Jamilet Molina. Present. Good Excellent. night. Good night. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Good night. Excellent. Good night. Diana Maria Amaya. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Excellent. Hazel Berenice Jimenez de Diaz. Present. Good night. Excellent. Good night. Jose Miguel Blanco González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Julio Aristides Paz. Present teacher. Good night. Excellent. Good night. Carla Idari Castillo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Catherine Beatriz Urbín. Catherine Beatriz. Katy okay. sí. Briseida Hernández. Present, good night. Excellent, good night. Lady Maricela Linares. Li, li, Lilian Teresa Polio. Present, teacher, good night. Good night. María Leticia Real Egeño. Present, teacher, good night. Excellent, good night. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca. Present teacher. Excellent. Good night. night. Miguel Ángel Santos. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Omar C. Galicia. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Omar C. Galicia. No. Present. Okay. So, Roberto Carlos Gámez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. Present teacher, good night. Excellent, good night. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present teacher. Excellent, good night. Good Susana night. Andrea Urbina. <coughs> didn't come, right? So, Susana, no, didn't come. Wilberto Francisco Javier. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Rudy Alexander Asensio. Jose Andres Martinez didn't come. He's working. William Boris Rock. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Denis Fernando Flamenco. So, ladies and gentlemen, Today is day eight. Juliana Maria Amaya stays with me. The other people, thank you very much for attending. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Be good. Good night, everybody. Good night. Be good. Take care. See you. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow line. Don't touch any machine. Wear the earplugs all the time. Wear industrial boots. No industrial boots, but just industrial boots. This is a mistake. I didn't see it. I didn't correct. Don't get close to red areas. Okay, in case of fire, Locate an evacuation route. 
stay calm. Call the fire department. Don't use the elevator. Don't get back if you forgot a personal object. Use a fire extinguisher. Follow instructions from the rescue team. Don't get close to the fire. Go to the meeting point. Up the door. Sorry, lock the doors. Stay away from glass windows. If possible, wear a mask. Stay close to the ground. Stay away from electrical wires. Study these examples. Can you give me directions to the nearest hospital? Go straight ahead for two blocks. It's on the next corner. How do you get to the bus stop? Go straight ahead and turn left. It's around the corner. Where's the carnival? It's at the stadium. Go straight ahead for four blocks. Where can I find the nearest car park? Sorry, I don't know. I'm not from around here. How do I get to the library? Go up the stairs and turn right. It's down the hall. Is there a pet shop near here? Yes, there's one on Second Avenue. It's next to the back. Where's the nearest post office? There's one in the shopping mall. There's a, it's across from the boutique. Do you know where the shopping center is? Yes, I do. It's across from the bank on Second Avenue. Is there a sports shop around here? I don't think so. You have to go downtown to find one. Can you tell me how to get to the train station from here? Sorry, but there aren't any trains in here. Take the bus. Conversation. Where do you work, Mark? I work in construction. I work for a huge, huge corporation from the West Coast. What's safety like? It's great. You must wear a helmet and gloves. Harnesses are also obligatory. I heard there have been some accidents there. That's an old story. I think that was about three years ago and safety has been improved since then. I'm glad to hear it. I would hate to see my little brother injured. You know, we have taken care of, uh, of you very well of these years. Don't worry, things are, are safe out there. I'm glad to hear it. If things were different, you'd be the first to know. That's great. That's great, little, bro little brother. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Next conversation. Bill, come here at once. What's the matter? Why is all this shouting? It's Mike. He has had an accident. Come quickly. Hey, let's go there. What exactly happened? See for yourself. Oh no. Mike, are you all right? I think he's unconscious. Then machines gave him a terrible blow. He took it right on his face. Call an ambulance. I'll stay with him right away. Hello. We have an emergency. It's one of our workers. He's unconscious. No, of course he isn't there. He's out, but he'll be okay. What did they say? They'll send a team right away. Go get them. I'll stay with mine. I will. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce you to the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Ruth Higgins, and I will be providing some safety regulations today. Yeah, please do, Ruth. Number one, wear a helmet all the time. Two, walk between the yellow lines. Three, don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. Four, 
it is important not to get close to the red areas. Will we get those rules in writing? The regulations, they are posted on every wall. And when in doubt, call me, I'll be around. Don't worry, we will. Great, I guess that will, all, that will be all for today. Safety glasses, goggles, dust mask, gloves, helmet, earmuffs, apron, safety shoes, boots, earplugs, face shield, mask, respirator, coveralls, accidents, slips, burns, cuts, sprain, broken bones, Dislocation, blisters, swelling, hits, falls, poisoning, broken bones, backaches, fracture, bruise, sunburns. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is all for today. I will be seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.